What's up, everybody? Surprise. We're back again. Back-to-back <laughs> shows. Bonus time. Episode 191 of the Dad Bod Golf Pod. Proud members of the Believe Podcast Network. And it's U.S. Open Week, so you know what? We may go every single day. We may go oh, every yeah. single round. We could. Uh, as you're listening to this, there's balls in the air. There's balls everywhere. This is like a typical Friday night for Ben and Nate. Just balls everywhere. Balls everywhere. There's balls in the air. The U.S. Open is underway, and we're here to talk about it. Obviously, we're recording this the night before, so we're still we're we're excited for the action yep. tomorrow. Um, but we want to talk about some of the previous events that have led up to today, some of the press conference notes, some of the practice round stuff, and uh, break it down, have some fun, and uh, maybe make some predictions at the end. So tonight's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Don't worry. When you're listening to this, you can't pick you, – you, you've missed your chance to pick a winner outright. But you can still go in and live bet the winner. So you can go in right now. The odds have changed from when they opened. Uh, you can go in, uh, log in, use coupon code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, give them 100 bucks. They're going to give you a 50% bonus, give you 50 bucks back. You can check, you can watch it the whole, you could wait till Sunday if you wanted to and live bet the winner. Prop uh, city, baby, prop city. The, the props, you probably missed, missed some opportunities. Maybe there's some live props. We'll, 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 we'll check that out later. But uh, it's the number one sports betting website in the country. It's so much fun. There's so many different ways you can bet. You can go to the online casino. Uh, U.S. Open is a fun time to uh, bet on golf. So, uh, y'all enjoy it. Bet online. It's where the game starts. All right, Ben. So, the number one thing uh, that I think I want to talk about that that I caught from some of the I, – I, we've texted about this, that I caught from some of the press conferences, and then we can lead this into who else we think may go to. But um, Brooks Kepka, I really want to talk about Brooks Kepka really quick because – his press conference was very strange. Um, and it was strange because he was hyper aggressive. He was hyper aggressive he really was. Yeah. Uh, towards the towards the reporters that were asking him about the, the US Open. They were asked, they were he was calling it, oh, you're putting a black cloud over the US Open. Okay. One of which was a female reporter. So now he's a woman basher too. Yeah, now way. he's a woman basher. No, <laughs> but and, and I thought he was being really dramatic because. I mean, what the heck else are you going to talk about? Like, you just had the most monumental, uh, like the like the most monumental start of something in golf this past weekend. You want to get players' reactions. I thought mm-hmm. the questions were were definitely in bounds. And his brothers on the tour, so yeah, his brothers big, playing in it. But that's not the part that 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 that's not the part that that um sort of piqued my interest. The part that piqued my interest the most, and I think you too, is when he was asked, essentially. Would you consider going to? Would you consider going to the live tour? Mm-hmm. You know what his answer wasn't. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm PGA tour through and through. It was yep. the classic. This is a lot like um, when 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 college coaches are asked if they're going to go to. Uh, hey, coach, yeah. are you going to go to rumored so and so school? That's a and great like, analogy. And they're That's like, a great analogy. They're like, no. I, well, they don't say no. They say I'm the head coach of this school that I'm at right now, and that's all I'm focused on. They didn't say no. I'm not going. That and, and a lot of times that's for contract negotiation stuff. No, I, I didn't say no. I'm not going. I just said I'm only focused on where I am right now. Okay, uh, you didn't answer the question. Brooks repl- replied with that with essentially that exact yep. same answer. I'm not talking about the live tour right now. I'm focused on the U.S. Open. I'm focused on winning my fifth major. That he didn't say no. He didn't. He did the whole. He even he even turned it around on her. Mm-hmm. The whole quote, on her. black cloud. Yeah, use it twice. Are, are you trying to use? Are you trying to put a black cloud on the U.S. Open? He definitely no. thought about black cloud before the somebody gave him that to use oh, so before yeah. the yeah that was <laughs> that he was to me. The, the agent pulled that on him and the thing is his agent was like damn it you're not supposed to use it with two different answers because he did yeah. it with two different answers with now two different cool reporters anymore. yeah <laughs> you know when you dropped it the first time you should that's it you should have left it right there yep. you, you that was your one liner and uh, and so he did the whole black cloud thing he did the. By the way, if I get cut off in the middle of this, the weather there's a lot of black choice. clouds over us <laughs> at this moment. In, and in the our house neck of the just the house just shook, and I was like, "I'm gonna lose power while I'm talking to Kyle right yeah. now." At some point, that would be awesome. That would be an awesome podcast uh, 
I, I believe. The one and that so, Ben lost power. Yeah, exactly. I, I, well, about a year ago, Ben lost an appendix. So that's true. Uh, now <laughs> it's coming I'll back take, to haunt you. I'll take the power loss instead of the appendix loss. But the, you're right. He didn't say no. He got confrontational, more or less, yeah. which is usually a sign of I'm comfortable with the equipment. When somebody, you're in sales. Yes. And I'm, I'm in sales too. When I get, when, when all of a sudden the client gets con- confrontational, like unprovoked, like you haven't done anything or said anything to make yeah. them, con- it's like, okay, so I got, it's a, it's a no, like I got the no part. Now yep. I got to find out why he's pissed. And that's exactly what he did today. He showed his hand. He got confrontational. That was his no without saying yeah. no. Yeah. And then he got pushed by the next reporter because the next reporter was like, okay, that was a no. So let's walk him back through this. Like, yes. Now let's ask him again. And again, he got the black cloud answer. Um, so he got confrontational again, which he doubled down. So, he did. uh, but let's he's just going. He's going right. Think about this is it, Brooks Kepka is to me is the poster child for the live tour. There is I don't no care. Doubt. I don't care about the PGA Tour. I don't care about the prestige of winning PGA Tour events. All I care about is majors and money. Yep. That's literally that's literally Brooks Kepka's MO. That's been he his MO. He said it today. He, he said, said I'm not worried about other tournaments. I'm worried about the US Open. I'm worried about yeah, I'm worried about majors. I'm, yes. That's all I care about. Doesn't even like playing in the he he mm-hmm. you know, the PGA has like you're required to play so many PGA Tour events. He doesn't even like playing in them. He wins some of them because he's just a natural competitor. And when his body isn't breaking down, he's a freak athlete. But that's that's another key. His body has has failed him the last several years. Um, he hasn't been hyper competitive in, you know, since I guess he won in uh, he won at TPC Scottsdale it was either last year or the year before last. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's really like the most competitive he's really been. He hasn't really been a factor in a lot of majors. Uh, since his knee stuff started, started, uh, you know, messing with him. So like, am I going to make a lot of money on the PGA tour right now? Is is he going to be making those Brooks Kepka dollars that he was making three, four, five years no. ago? Uh, maybe not. Uh, so why not jump? And then uh, I jump, play eight events, make a crap load of money. Uh, you know, I got, ma- I'm, I'm married now. It's different. It's a different life now. Um, I got a high, a pretty, pretty high dollar, uh, to, uh, lifestyle that you got to uphold, uh, go win a bunch of, uh, go, uh, get a bunch of money. And then you still get to play in the majors. That's all he's ever wanted anyway. Mm -hmm. Rehab my body, play my eight of 12 events, my eight live tour events, my four majors. That's that to me is the Brooks Kepka dream, uh, uh, from what it sounds like. That's just Uh, about every golfer's dream. If yes. they can make that kind of money and only play 12 events, yes. I'm telling you the PGA Tour has a problem. They got a problem. They got a problem. And, and I'll tell you, so my, I think both of us, Nate too, he would agree. I'm, I'm like waiting. I, and I would say it, it may be as soon as the, the U.S. Open's over. I'm predicting Brooks kept – we're predicting that based off that press conference, unless he's just – he just likes being, you know, difficult, I guess, which that could be, that Let's could just be call it what it is. He likes being a dick. Yeah. And everybody. that could very well be the case. Uh, it looks like Brooks Kepka is headed to the, uh, headed to the live tour. Um, I don't, would you agree? It looks like I, I agree. I told you my only hesitation just his because we've there. talked to his brothers there and say he doesn't want to get his brother in trouble with his new employer. Yeah, so could and he so just be towing the a, company company line yes. for his brother? That, for that, his brother, that is a very. Uh, that's my problem. only. That's my only hesitation. If his brother were not on the tour, it's a hundred percent he's yeah. leaving. Yeah, but with the, with, with his, these words that he spoke in this past, yeah. like in this press conference. Yeah, sure, sure. But with his brother being there, and only having eight events, and it sounds like the more pros that join, if they're going to stay at that certain number of players, somebody's got to get cut. They're probably still going to get paid, but they got to cut somebody. Yeah, He didn't want his brother getting cut, so he's probably – he he may – if he's going to join, he may be towing that company line already with him. I don't know. And that could be – that could be one of the things he's doing to make yeah. sure, hey, I'll come, but when all these other dudes come, you're keeping Chase. Chase yeah. is staying on this tour. I mean, that could be part of it. Yep. Like, like I said, he does not care about winning PGA Tour events. He's going to go make a crap ton of money. And if I can go and, and guarantee that my brother's going to make a crap ton of money too, 
Let's do it. Let's do it. How they similar is it you, light, you and you and Brooks and your brother and Brooks' brother? Because Brooks's brother's not a very good golfer, and Brooks is, and you're a very good golfer, and your brother's not. <laughs> uh well jay the the uh, level of difference is uh is very is very glaring very glaring <laughs> quick here's here's let's talk a couple more um rumored rumors and just yep. real quick fire harold varner that is one that all about it that is one that, that that name is out there harold varner he's already played in one of the events he won an event uh he would be a huge draw especially if it's grow the game i mean let's just be honest um he's a different he reaches a, a totally different demographic um, and he doesn't, but it's, it, but it, he also, everybody likes him. It's not just, Oh, everybody likes him. Yeah. We've yeah, talked so to, we, we got tour huge. pros we've talked to, or we've got corn parade tour guys that we've talked to that have talked about how they got paired up and played with Harold. And they're like, he's awesome. Yeah. Like he's the nicest guy in the world. Like he's the great, he's one of the greatest guys to be playing in a tournament with. Like he's, yeah. he's and, that fun to be around. And then our buddy, Will Long, like yep. it, the, Harold Varner's life has changed dramatically and they're yep. still best friends. It hasn't changed him as a person. Like it's just awesome. Wow. Lightning. Just, that was a whole lot of lightning right outside the window. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So Harold Varner, uh, I've seen Colin Morikawa's name thrown out there, which, I saw that too, my, which would blow my mind. That Colin would. Okay. So this is one reason to blow my mind because the, one of the, one of the takes on the Saudi tour is the hate for gays and lesbians. Colin yeah. during Pride Month wears the rainbow um yardage book in his back pocket. That would be, as, I mean, as that would be exactly. So that would be something that would be something to to watch watch. Um Colin Morikawa, Xander Shoffley. Um uh what was the Xander, other Xander? I don't know. After Xander's interviews today, I don't know. Was he pretty strong against yeah, it? Yeah, he was pretty strong against it. The one thing that Xander's saying he may actually um, win a major if he hangs out. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that Xander's saying and that Rom didn't say this, Billy Horschel today, I really got pissed at Billy. Um, and let's see, it was Xander, it was Billy, it was Brandel Shimbley. And there were a couple other players. Oh, remember I texted you guys and I said, who the hell is this guy? Because they asked him to, and I, I didn't even know his name. And I was like, why the hell are they interviewing him? Yeah, uh, I guess just to get a take because I have never seen him before in my life, <laughs> and he's playing <laughs> in the U.S. Open. I had to literally I had to Google him, and they so bad I don't even remember wh who I texted you his name was. But the one thing they're saying is they're saying I don't like the fact that they're saying grow the game. How are they growing the game? The fact that we're doing a podcast on the damn live tour, the fact that you're being asked about it during the U.S. friggin' Open, it's growing the game because it's got the entire friggin' world talking Stephen about a. golf Smith, right now. Stephen A. Smith is talking about it with uh, Skip Bayless on yes. whatever show it is they do together. They don't do a show dive. together anymore. It's a different yep. white dude. You got the wrong guy. <laughs> no, I don't. No, Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless. I shared it on our story today. They had a. They had a. Uh, is it called? Um, he Stephen A. was filling in, I believe, for day. Shannon. Oh, he's filling in for Shannon. He was filling in for Shannon, I believe. So. Oh uh, wow! They let so, him. ESPN let him cross over to Fox. I, I don't know if it was on Fox. I'm just telling you the the video I shared. They were talking okay. about it, and it was Stephen A. and it was Skip Bayless. Um, but yeah, so like you're talking about golf which i think is the ultimate goal um but yeah so uh those are some those are some of the names i mean those are the type names that we're seeing rumored and pretty much when the rumor has there been a rumor come out that's been wrong though ben no has no, there that, been a name like can we think of a name that has come out that has been wrong no and the reason being is because the names that have been mentioned to go have gone the Bubba names Watson, have been maybe the, names, the only one and it, the, that ain't over yet no and that's the thing is i think okay here's the here's the deal they got to they got to the end of the month where they play the return where they play in portland so we've got this weekend and next week before any announce so we could see some announcements throughout the week next week or at least by next weekend at the latest yeah. uh because they'll go ahead and start playing some practice rounds over in portland uh for the for the last week of the of the month uh to to play in that tournament so let me tell you where this is going to be a game changer, Kyle. And that was because Shambly talked about, it. he goes, 
They're playing in these no-name places. Brother, they are coming to the United States this month, and then they're playing at Trump National in New Jersey, and they're playing Where down was, at – There was supposed to be the PGA Championship. That was exactly. supposed to be – Yeah. Like, don't tell me that they're and playing Doral, at no-name right? places. And they're playing Doral as that's well. The, like, that's an iconic – that, that should still be a part of the Florida swing. That's an iconic uh, classic exactly. course. And and they that's the one they moved to Mexico. Right. And the the Doral, yeah, they moved they moved to the the place that nobody's ever heard of. Yeah. Congratulations, you did a great job there. Went from Doral to there. Um, so you showed when, them when they yeah. PGA Tour. You showed when, them when they say when the Chamblees of the world are going where well, they're not really playing anywhere. Are you kidding me? Like Wait now, the only only ball that has to drop, Kyle, and I've said this, and you said this. We've talked about it off air as well. As soon as they get a TV deal, PGA Tour screwed. Oh, that's it's big time. But then you know then why? That's a I'm whole. Gonna, new... I'm going to watch Thursday, Friday, Saturday live, and then just tune in on Sunday for the PGA Tour final. I mean, gonna... I'll probably watch. I'll probably watch both. I mean, I will. I'll probably watch both if I can. If they're not but, conflicting, but, but that first one that makes national television, I'm watching it 100. percent Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. That's and so that's where they're going to get screwed. And lo and behold, if they do it and it turns out to be fun and a big crowd. Oh my goodness, the PGA is gonna be puckering. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see play out play out. Uh let me tell you something that will not make you pucker. Ben, you ready for this? Uh when you shoot a pin and you get that buzz and you know that number's right from your blue tees range range finder. No, I, I puckered a pucker, little bit. <laughs> the pucker releases. It just absolutely releases. Uh, check them out, blueteesgolf.com. Uh, they got the Series 3 rangefinder. That's the one we have. Um, it's absolutely loaded with features, and it's under $400. Uh, yep. And you can use coupon code DADBOD and take 10% off. We've already seen several uh, several of our listen- listeners have already uh, gone and purchased theirs. Um, it, you can save a ton. It has literally every single feature that the Bushnells of the world, the $550 to $600 rangefinders, everything that they have. Uh, mm-hmm. Got the magnet, got the infrared lock on, got the buzz lock on, got scan mode, which we love. Um, everything you can ask for uh, and save a ton of money. Um, they even have a Father's Day bundle. You got a little bit longer left on that. Send mm-hmm. it to your wife now. Like when you're listening, get off, pause it. Pause right now. Ready? Go. Pause. <laughs> Go to Blue Tees, uh, click that link, copy it, paste it, send it to your wife get you that Father's Day bundle, get you those Bluetooth speakers. Bluetooth, blue tees, uh range finders are the bee's knees. Let's go. Everybody join the movement, bluetees.com. So I had a guest in studio this morning, my, my real job that yep. uh, on there had a guest. She goes, uh, I haven't bought um, my husband's Father's Day yet, and he wants a range finder. And I was like, Make okay, sale. I got the perfect thing for you. And then she looks at me and she goes, I don't want to get in that. I said, okay, you just need to stop. All right. I said, let me explain to you why you need to stop right here. Is that's the thing. You wives are always saying it's so hard to buy for my husband. And then we tell you what we want. And then you're like, I don't want to buy that. Okay. Well, guess what he's going to do now? He's going to go get himself in trouble because he's going to go slap the credit card with that thing. And it's going to hit. And then you're going to see it a month from now. And he's probably going to forget to use the dad bod code because I sent her or all he's the gonna information. Go, he doesn't know about blue tees yet. And he's going to go or, buy the exactly. $600. Ca- uh, um, exactly. Bushes. Exactly. And I told her that. So do Kat, it for the family. Do it for Kat, the family. If you're listening, you, Kat, have another ba- family. you have another baby coming. No, not Nate's cat. Different cat that yep. also lives here in, in Auburn, Alabama. Uh, it, it, Kat, if you're listening, and, and I'm sure you're not, do this for the family. Do this do it for, for the your family. family. Do it for your future son. Blue Tees, that, that Blue Tees to, Golf. Do it for the birth. family. <laughs> Blue Tees Golf. Down. Do it for the family. All right. right. Moving on. Uh, next topic I want to talk about real quick, Phil Mickelson. Okay. And and what about it that do I, do I want to talk about? It blew me away based off what the media is telling me. The media is telling me that everyone hates Phil Mickelson. Twitter yep. is telling me everybody hates Phil Mickelson. Yep. Phil Mickelson played practice rounds, and the ch- I, I don't I don't think anybody had crowds, had the support, had cheers bigger than what I heard from the videos I've seen around Phil, Phil Mickelson. Hey Phil, we love you. Fist pumping. These are these are Boston folks. Like these guys, I mean they they could get rowdy. I mean I've seen yeah. 
you seen the depart is it the departed i mean that's, yes. that's a that's a wild movie those <laughs> those people are crazy um the boston fans i i mean they're lo- they love phil mickelson the fans still love phil mickelson to me that shows there is such a disconnect in reality between me there i mean it just for we already knew this but the disconnect between media and fans is the the gap is just insanely wide yep. insanely wide so brandle the m- more you pound on this the, nobody's listening nobody it's not, cares the it's fans not just the fans yeah. that love golf that he's just been the one that's most out the fans that yep. love golf love phil mickelson and love golf ben had the best line ever i'm not pro li- pro live i'm not anti live I'm pro golf. That's what every – That's what that. fans want is golf. When I saw him step up on the tee and they showed the, the – they only showed like one tee shot of them cheering too uh, because the media didn't want to give in. They no. didn't want to show that this was happening. And so they, they showed booze. it and everybody cheered and I said, that's right, stick it to them because yes. these fans are just like I am. They're just like you are. Listen, when there's a, when there's a decent tournament on – I don't give a damn how old they are, if it's women, men, if it's the Asian tour, if it's the Champions Tour with a bunch of old dudes. I don't care if it is good golf. I said that about this last tournament. When they were talking about, oh, see how much better the RBC is? It wasn't the RBC. You know what made it good? That final group of three that was playing. That made it fantastic. Those guys could have been playing on the moon, and I would have tuned in and watched the two of them. They could have been playing anywhere, any tournament. Could have been a blackjack tournament. And with those three guys, I was going to watch it just to see how it ended. And so I think that the fans are showing the media, you guys can do all the agenda pushing you want. We don't give a damn. We want to see the guys play golf. That's it. It kind of got me back back in – I mean, that made me feel better about Phil, to be honest. Uh, and, yeah. and I don't know why. And I, let, I, I guess I kind of let some of the media, you know, get into, get into me. But, um, yeah, that was, that was sort of eye-opening, the, the, the chasm that is between – It was the a golf, middle finger to Jay Monahan to what it was. It was fan like, and golf uh, media. It, the gap is just yes. – incre- Like, as far as where, where we stand, what we think about golf, it's just – it could not be wider. It could not mm-hmm. be wider. Um, so yeah, that was that was interesting. It'll be interesting to see the coverage of him this week, especially if he if he plays good. Uh, I hope he makes the cut just for the fact, um, you know. I do too. I just I, want I just for ratings. He's fun to watch, and if somehow he could be in contention, and then oh my god, if he could win, if he could win, Kyle, if any live tour guy wins, if any live tour, <laughs> I, and and I'm not saying like again, I'm not pro, I'm not pro live, no, I'm not pro anti- golf. Pro golf, but if a live tour guy could win, the carnage and the fireworks and the chaos that will erupt from that could be glorious. glorious. Especially with all the players and media talking about it being a subpar tour that's taking place. Oh, yeah. And getting all up in their feelings about it. And it's like, yeah, it's so subpar. One of their guys just won the US Open. Won the US Open. <laughs> if you get uh, that against, could be against the toughest field in golf. They just beat 9,000 golfers. That could be electric if yeah. if Dustin Johnson, Taylor yes. Gooch. Hey, Taylor Gooch is a sleeper. He's 35th in the world, gang. Like uh that guy, I mean, and then you got uh Phil Kevin Kevin Knock make a run if he gets a putter on fire. I think if Kevin his Nock putter gets to on. working, I think if his putter's working. Like it did at the end of last season, he could make it's a big a course. It's a big, it big is. course. It's wide though. It's they say it's one of the wider um, driving courses that they in in the U.S. Open. In but the quite greens a while. are small. Greens are super small, super small. So Kevin Nye hitting four irons into those uh, par four uh, small greens that could be. They talked about today. Tough. They got a hundred and thirty five yard par three that may not hold the ball. And that green is as big <laughs> as this computer screen. It is 135 so... yards and won't hold a ball. As a matter of fact, they even said if it lands on the back, it could be out of bounds and they could be reteed. That's that's <laughs> that's just absolutely so that's going to happen. You know that's going to happen. Somebody's going to go long. It's downhill, downwind. Somebody's going to hit a wedge that's going to fly 145 and it's going to be at OV. Yep, absolutely. And, and hopefully, it. hopefully, as you're listening to this and watching, that happens. That would and be hopefully it's Rory McIlroy. That would be pretty cool. I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. All right. Uh, what was the topic you wanted to talk about? Um, you you wanted to talk about something. Oh, I was in. We mentioned it a little bit that 
I told you that one of the issues that I've been having with all these interviews they're doing, and, and JT really stuck out to me today because he said it when he said, I feel sorry for these guys. Yeah. And I kind of stuck with me because I was like, why? Why are you worried about it? It's not your money. It's not your place. You don't handle their – in a sport where they constantly are preaching to you, listen, it's me and my caddy against the world. This isn't a team event. Everything's on me. Everything revolves around me. Everything is me, 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 me. And then all of a sudden they're like, these guys are being selfish. Are you shitting me right now? Every one of you are selfish. You play in a single man sport. That's what it is. It's like wow, you, can say, you can say, I got my team with me. Their team ain't with their team. Y'all yeah. may share a coach. Maybe that's it. That could be the only team you have. Y'all may be on Taylor made together. That may be it. But other than that, it's an end of you're playing against him. So why do you give a damn if he goes play somewhere else? You're upset because the competition just got easier for you to win the U.S. Open? Shut up. This is – all right, so so this is what – if they're going to talk, I want them to take this route. I want them to take the route of we're better than you. That's yes. what I want. I want that. I don't want this we're sad – uh, this is bad for golf, blah, 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 blah. I want it to almost be like I'm laughing at you. Like, this isn't growing the game. I'm tired of hearing that. Stop it that. Is. It is growing the game. Just just belittle it. Like, it's it's nothing. These guys, I mean, they're running. Uh, Rory said something. He said something like most of these guys are in their late – or their 40s towards the end of their career. They're probably not going to be very competitive on the tour. That's great. Like, yeah. And I re- that up. Because remember, he said he said it's a retirement plan. And I said, and I retweeted. And I said, yeah, it's a hell of a retirement plan. I'm in my upper forties too. I'll go make ten million dollars. Stop. Keep going that direction. Yeah. Because that builds the rivalry. That builds the rivalry because then it's okay, PGA Tour. Let's have a let's have a match. If y'all are so much so superior. Yes. If y'all are this, you put your money where your mouth is. Let's have a match. Let's go after it, and then golf explodes golf explodes uh fans erupt fans go crazy that this is what they mean when they say this grows the game yes. this is something that we've never seen before take this route take this route keep taking this route jt don't go whiny stop going whiny right stop going complainy rory too you know what rory be mad rory be mad rory be yeah. rider cut rory be no hat rider cut rory and just talk down to them. Talk down about the tour. They're they're they can't play with you. They're scared of you, so they're leaving. Yep. Go with that narrative. Go yes. with it. I like that narrative because you know what? Honestly, I kind of believe in it a little bit. I, I kind of believe. Too. I kind of believe. But they're in not doing that though. I kind of believe in it just a little bit. Build that. Build yep. that rivalry, and let's have the greatest golf revolution in the history of the sport. It could. If this could be it, this could be it. Stop the whining. Stop that it's not growing the game. Stop letting Brandel Chambly lead the charge as far as the speak the guy speaking against this. That's another thing that they talked about. They're hurting charities. They're not hurting charities. Those guys all have foundations. They're still giving to charities. Yes. So stop with that. And as far as the charitable money, a lot of that is coming from sponsors anyway. You're not losing sponsors. You're losing players. And if you keep being a whiny bitch, you're going to start losing sponsors. So stop it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But I, I, I want to see more. I want to see more of that. I want to see more belittling. I want to see more pettiness. The good kind, the yes. arrogant kind. Uh, I want to see, I want to just start seeing, start seeing some of this because I, I got a good feeling about this. I got a good feeling that we could start seeing some inner, inner like matches and things like that. And that could be, that could be really good. Uh, for golf, let me tell you something else that's really good for golf. I mean, this especially today, sh- heat index was like 105, oh 105 degrees, hottest day I think I've ever experienced. But you know what? I was on point because of liquid IV. Every time I got a little hot, every time I felt like I was getting dehydrated, I boom, I pound me a liquid IV and I'm right back in the game. Uh, it carries you, it's perfect for golf, especially in the summer. Uh, you play the first four or five holes hell you have a good range session and you and you're you're dripping you're dripping sweat pound your liquid iv and it gets you right back in the game um it, it's 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 great nate had a great uh video funny video i think he did i hope he's posting on instagram uh by now but uh by the time you listen to this it, probably it, not 
it probably not. We're, we hope he did though. Uh, it's, it, but it's, it's true. It's, it's, it's really good stuff. Um, it's really, uh, inexpensive and we're going to make it even more inexpensive. Use coupon code dad bod golf pod, take 25% off and free shipping, 25% off and free shipping. He did uh, post it. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> when you're listening to this, go listen to the video. It's really hilarious on Insta. Uh, uh, yeah. Use coupon code dad bod golf pod and you get 25% off and free shipping. They got, uh, they got tons of flavors, tons of options. Um, check them out today, liquidiv.com. Uh, All right, last thing to talk about. Let's go ahead and make some picks. Let's do some picks. Oh, by the way, on the uh, Liquid IV, Kyle swears by it because he won't share any with us. Apparently, the apple pie is good. I got apple pie, and I drink a ton of them. <laughs> I'm almost out already. Uh, <laughs> I drink at least, at least one a day, if not two a day. Yeah. I have the passion fruit. How is it? I like it. It's, it's more good. like a – Got a little raspberry wang to it, but it says it's passion fruit. I don't know what passion fruit is. Yeah, I mean, I, I, never, I eat oranges I've never seen and apples. One. I don't know what I don't know what that is. Never so seen a passion it, fruit in my life. It tastes good. If you said that tastes like passion fruit, okay, sure, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> All right, let's do some picks. Uh, these are just winter picks, um, yep. and we're, like we do, we'll we'll analyze them and then we'll talk crap about each other uh, on Sunday after it's over for the Monday show. So. Uh, I'm going to do Nate's pick. Nate started off, and yep. um, it's just funny that this is who he picked because I've talked so much crap about him. I think he, I think last, he did this just Probably to, just for this. but Just I, for Kyle. Nate picked the Bulldog, Cam Smith. <laughs> unflappable. <laughs> unflappable. He uh, is unstoppable. Cam Smith is going to win the U.S. Open, and you know what? Honestly, it wouldn't shock me. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so Cam Smith was Nate's winner. Ben, who you got? Not Cam Smith. Not Cam uh, Smith. Because it is, but as much as field. he is, as much as it, yeah. If I'm going Cam Smith to the field, I'm taking the field. There you go. Uh, and um, and to to piggyback on next pick, I will say he's good at getting out of trouble. Yeah, that is the one thing he's good at. He's However, also good at getting into trouble. He exactly. <laughs> and the U.S. Open is not the place to do that. Right. Uh, when you when it's tough to hit greens at 135 yards, this is not the place to get in trouble. Uh, my pick is going to be a uh, repeat winner, John Rahm. As, oh. uh, we were we were looking at uh, others. The latest to have done it was Brooks Kepta in 17 and 18. Before that, it was all the way back in the 80s. Curtis Strange did it. Nice. And then it was all the way back in the 50s when Ben Hogan did it. And then there are a few names that you're going to have no idea what I'm saying. So I'm Other than Bobby Jones. Other than Bobby, Bobby Jones. Jones. But yeah. they didn't even list as Bobby Jones. They listed as Robert Jones. Robert Ty Jones Jr. is what they listed because he won it as an amateur two years in a row in 1929 and 1930. As Nate would say, he'd say, what does that put you, Ben? Are you about 10 about that time? Uh, so yeah, that's, <laughs> that was the, uh, that was, that was the guy. Those were the guys that have done the back-to-backs. Brooks being the latest. And so uh, I think Rom has got the game to do it. Um, I still stick by, uh, you know, we bring him up all the time, Pat Perez, but it's because he's always got good quotes. And he was on even on David Ferry one time, and they asked him, you know, who's the best up and coming golfer you you've seen? And he said, John Rom, hands down. Yeah. He said the guy can do anything with a golf ball. He's like, if he can just put a total of four rounds together, he will beat everybody. And he he didn't even admitted he said he will have a run. That is, he didn't say like Tiger. He said Tiger S, where he'll go about two or three years and just dominate the field. And yeah. um, I think, I think he's at that point. I mean, they showed a lot of coverage of him today on the practice uh, on the practice tee on uh, putting. And so uh, I think he's got a chance, man. I think I'll go with Rombo. He did have a top ten um, last week at the Memorial. Um, he hasn't he hasn't played terrible. He's just kind of played good, um, I guess. Uh, not great this year but uh yeah i could see that i could see that uh i'm going with uh justin thomas um, yeah justin thomas thing. is a pissed off man and a pissed off justin thomas is uh usually leads to victories or or extremely high finishes uh last week he just played he dueled out with rory unbelievable unbelievable duel um he's playing good he's played good all year um, I think this is a good time for him to, to win his open. And I think his game translates pretty good for the open unless he starts kind of spraying the driver a little bit, but, uh, he's just so creative, um, such a good eye, uh, and imagination with shots and he's fearless when he, when it comes to hitting shots. Um, I sent you, you know, the shot book. Did you see, he's going to have to, his game 
the JTs, the Tigers, the as bad as it sounds, Cam Smith, the creative guys that are able to work magic on a golf course, able to take high winds or crossing winds and keep it under and roll it up and do stuff like that and do flop shots around the green when it's into the wind and do a nice little low bump and run when it's, I mean, it's Scheffler. Scheffler's another one that yeah. he's, he seems to like this course. He likes to be creative around it. So I think you got a good pick in JT because I think he's got an opportunity to, to put it all to get, it's almost like he's used these previous tournaments to get ready for this. Yeah. It's a good, I mean, that's a good, I mean, he won the PGA championship. Uh, he almost won the Canadian open. He was a top five of the Byron Nelson. He's had nine top tens this year. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. Uh, he is, uh, he's playing good golf. I, I'm going with JT and, you know, shocker. He's like the number one odds. I think. I, it, Rory, oh, is he really? Rory may be ahead of him, but like, let's be honest, that's not happening. I don't know why they picked right. after Rory went in last week. They might as well. Rory will, Rory will come on strong on Saturday and Sunday and finish 18th in the field. The only way I think Rory wins is if somebody – if it's like him and DJ dueling it out because then he's going to get mad, and then Mad Rory – nobody can beat Mad Rory. I just don't – I wonder if he's going to be Mad Rory or oh shucks Rory this week. It just depends um, on how bad – he's going to have a bad round. He always has one that is – even if it's not over par, it's yeah. still where – he'll have a round where that day everybody else goes five, six under, and he shoots one over. Sure, sure, Yeah. Well, I, I believe uh, we're going to wrap it up today. Uh, we may jump on uh, and do – I mean, we definitely will jump on and do another one for our Friday show uh, like we always do, but we may do one Saturday – may do a sh Saturday show and a Sunday show. So stay tuned. Um, uh, hopefully pumping out some content this weekend. Uh, U.S. Open is underway. Love enjoy it. it. Uh, enjoy your uh, next couple of days, and we will talk to you tomorrow. This is episode 191 brought to you by Bet Online, Dad by Golf Bot. Always, always stroking. stroking.